Ah, looking like we're getting somewhere now. Yes, indeed we are. Here is the whole set. This will be the only time this set will ever be all together like this. This particular set will be all over the world to individuals who are doing their part and doing what they can and have the knowledge and understanding to actually make it work. I love doing this to you guys. All right, so Levin Cell unit over at the forums, open-source-energy.org. If you go to the main page, it looks like this. You go to rwgresearch.com, and it looks like this. Scroll down here. Right here stands original 11 cell resonant cavity sketch and build. Right there, click on that. And right now at the moment, there are some sketches right here. If you click on them, you'll see something that looks like this and this. Um, Chris is almost done drawing this in an actual CAD program. I drew this in Google SketchUp. It's not really complete. It was just to give a visual for Chris on designing it in a regular program. <clears throat> so, why haven't we built this and instead we built these? What's the reason? Um, well, basically, this is this particular cell to purchase the Durlin for this and there's debate over whether you need to use the Durlin but you know if we use Durlin it's pretty expensive um, so instead we went ahead and built the individual cells and the main reason for this was so that individuals um, such as myself Sharky um, Wimbug I believe I said that right and a guy by the name of Gary is going to uh, receive some of these and be able to test with these and basically um, I'm going to show you how they go together and why individual cells like this mainly because we wanted to have the same exact thing but in different people's hands okay and that way we all are working with the same thing so we can probably get better results originally this was the the thought um, I do have a different drawing on my website that's a single cell unit with recirculating water and um, that particular unit would be good except I don't uh, have the proper machining at the time to actually do it so we went ahead and did the individual cells the second reason for this particular tubing and not clear tubing this isn't real clear you can see through it and once it's got water in it you can probably see through it a lot better but uh, this is schedule 40 PVC and uh, made by this company this is an inch and a quarter schedule 40 all right, there's the date it was manufactured. And the reason I did that is because originally I was going to buy Schedule 40 end caps. It's going to be real easy to put on there, and voila, you'd be done. But um, I went ahead and we decided to make the, have the parts made and have machined. So originally I should have gone with a different tubing. Life is what it is. So, oh, but oh, oh, looky there. You guys are going to yell at me for knocking all this stuff over. Anyway, um, real quickly, I want to show you how this goes together, this particular device. There we go. So basically, you've got these tubes. These are the inner tubes. And they are a solid half-inch piece. And they have been drilled out. And then, they've been drilled out and then slotted, milled flat. All right. Chris had these made by a machinist that he lives close to. So Chris has donated these parts. Second piece is just a outer tube. Alright. All the dimensions and stuff are uh, kind of posted all over the place. I don't really have them in my head at the moment. Now, <clears throat> the outer casing, alright. I don't know how well you can see the inside there, but there's a certain depth that those are at. And then the second piece, there's a certain depth that those are at. They're different depths. They're cut just a little bit different. Okay. I do have to drill holes in here and get my connections. They'll be stainless steel uh, quarter 20 threaded um, stainless steel all thread probably or bolt and then I'll use a washer and a nut and then I'll drill that out and put a stainless steel spring in there to touch the electrode. 
still have to do that. <clears throat> so this piece goes inside here. This piece doesn't matter. Doesn't matter which way it goes. It's always going to fit tight like that. And you got to get this piece orientated right so that the edges fit up right because the bottom is the thick part and the electrical connection goes here and here. So inside of here I'm going to have to drill a hole down here and then and up here and that will actually be my electrical connection. So you got to get those right. So this piece fits in there and you're not going to be able to tell but basically you can see that thing will not focus on me. Basically you can see the edge there when you put this all the way in the edge of that stainless is on the edge of that piece. Otherwise it's too far past. That's the opposite end. So if I flip it back over, that fits in there just right. These two pieces fit together like this. Okay, nothing moves, it's solid. All the pieces fit in there just right. If I pull this off, you'll be able to see that the top piece here is exactly half of that cut. Okay, and then on the other side, that's where the water comes in, all right? So if they're like this, and it's sealed off, the water's gonna come in here and flow in between these two cavities. That way you have a, a closed off cavity all together, all right? So the top, if we put it in there, you can see it goes off about a quarter inch, or an eighth inch. They're both eighth inch, all right? But, uh, so there you go. That's how they fit together. The base, this is Durlin material, by the way, acetyl or Durlin. The base here, it's got a bevel on it, it's got a hole in it, and then this will just fit right on here. I'm not going to push it on there real tight. I don't, that one went on there slightly easier. And then basically there'll be a, a, a thread machined here. I'll have to just hand tap it. Alright, so that's the base. I did have a bevel on there. That's the base. That seals enough to hold it on there. Then the top, I'll have to thread that as well. Nice bevel on there as well. And the top will just fit in here like this. I guess I can push it in there. Like that. Alright. There'll be a fitting on top. And there'll be a fitting down here. And the water will go through this. This will be shoved inside of this tube. And I'll be drilling holes through all of this. Okay, and then I'll be putting my electrical connections in there as I just described. So, there you go. That is how these go together. Um, I ain't going to come back out right now. So they, they should look pretty nice. And uh, again, the main reason I wanted to do the cells like this is so that other people would have exactly the same cell set up. And we'll have the exact same coil and core set up. So if one of us gets results, the others should replicate. All right. Well, that's it. I'm not going to bore you guys anymore. Um, I will say uh, thank you very much to just everybody that's helping. And uh, it's good vibes towards everyone out there that's, you know, opened up their minds and opened up their hearts to, to this technology and just trying to make this thing work. Um, I believe it's real. I believe it works. I believe there's a lot of work to do and, and a lot of understanding to still uh, make of what exactly has to go on and how. But that's all part of it. We'll learn as we go. Um, I will say that eventually, Chris, uh, he has been freely working on the actual uh, diagrams for this. Um, and really quickly, I will show you, Chris has found these blow-off valves for me. And it's pretty good at sourcing stuff. And uh, there you can see that is a 15 PSI blow-off. Instead of having the top octagonal and angled with the pressure valve on it, we went ahead and just purchased pressure valves. And they will be basically going on the top or the side. And then there will be uh, a transducer and an outlet, uh, just like Stan's original. So the top's actually going to be square like this, and it's not going to have the other piece on top. That's just going to be it. Um, but Chris will have those done. And we will be publishing those for anyone to get a hold of. And you're more than welcome to share them. Um, if you try to sell them, that would be very disappointing because they're free. That's what it's all about, teamwork. 
So, uh, yeah, enjoy. That's it. I ain't gonna bore you anymore. Um, leave me a comment, and uh, I'll post the link here. If you have any questions or concerns, uh, you can post them over there if you want. And that's it. I'm out. Um, uh, cool. Thank you, everyone. Um, thanks to Rod and his shop who actually had these machined. And uh, if anyone else out there has uh, machining capabilities and they're willing to pitch in some machine time, please send me an email and um, I'll be happy to uh, let you help with this stuff because I can't do it all by myself. It's not that I can't make these parts, it's that it would take me hours and hours and hours. And it's about teamwork. Everyone has their own skills. You need to use what skills you have. And, uh, you know, if you want to pitch in, uh, I'll say this one last time. The only reason that I put the donate button up there is for individuals who actually want to throw money towards this project and not people who are working on their own projects and not people who are, um, you know, in a, in a hole somewhere where they're, you know, throwing their last penny this way. Please, please, please do not do that. Um, it's just for the individuals who can. And anybody that's pitching in part of the teamwork, such as uh, Sharky and uh, Wimbug, um, over the forums, you know, um, they're going to be receiving a sell, and um, you know that's that's part of the teamwork thing. Um, so anyway, just kind of want to inform everyone again about the donation thing. It's just there for people who can help. Please, if you're working on your own projects or you're doing your own thing or you're scrounging for money, do not donate. Do not do it. Get online, use your brain, think, and post your ideas and thoughts, and, and just learn. Learn from the information I'm giving away. For free because it's about teamwork open source that's it i'm done with my speech have a good day i gotta go move some stuff in the yard so we can mow grass is getting tall see ya bye guys thank you blessings god bless take care bye you guys always think it's over but i always forget something to tell you i was gonna mention that I would like to set all these cells up, hook them up in series parallel, take measurements, uh, do distilled water, tap water, if I can get some rain water, I'll get some rain water, and uh, I kind of want to do some measurements on these cells before I ship them uh, to anybody, and uh, that way I've got all, I've got 10 of them, and there was 10 hooked up in series in the 11 cell unit that you see, so that's the plan, thought I'd inform you, I always forget something, what can I say, life is life, see you.